morning, Candy Dragons. It is Friday, October 1st, the first day of October 2021. Um, one day. This is our last day before fall break. Um, I'm Mr. Butcher. Um, the principal. It's my job to keep you guys safe so that you guys can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, you've left your average at home or on the bus and uh, you're ready to be ready, ready to be respectful and responsible. Uh, cool thing about Friday. Fridays is always dad joke Fridays. Um, so since we're going on fall break after today, all these dad jokes are about vacation. So we're going on a vacation. Perfect. So where do sharks go on vacation? Finland. <laughs> Get it? Finland. They got a fin on their back. Yes. All right. It's time for our first responsibility today, which is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country and at our school. We do this by daily saying the pledge to the flag, the school pledge, as well as doing our moment of silence. Um, when we do this, we want to make sure that we're standing up tall, putting our hand over our hearts. We want to make sure we're saying the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. Leading us in the pledge today is Ms. Rambo and Ms. Wood. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I will be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself my actions, and my learning. I will work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Please take a moment to reflect silently on our day, our activities, and what we hope to accomplish. Okay, another responsibility that we have each day is to try to keep each other safe. One way we can do that is to help slow down the spread of germs. How do we slow down the spread of germs? Well, Wash your hands. Make sure that you're washing your hands frequently. When you wash your hands, you want to use soap and water if you can. If you can't use soap and water, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer will work. You want to make sure when you wash your hands that you're getting all parts of your hands, the palms, the backs, in between your fingers, your fingertips, your thumbs, and your wrists. Make sure you're getting all those, and you're doing it for at least 20 seconds. So let's model what good hand washing <laughs> looks like. Oh, it sprayed me on the neck. All right, so here we go. Get the palms of your hands. Two, three, four. Five, get the back of your hands, two, three, four, five, get the back of the other hand, two, three, four, five, get your in between your fingers, two, three, four, five, get your fingertips, two, three, four, five, get your other fingertips, two, three, four, five, get your thumb, two, three, four, five, and your other thumb, two, three, four, five, and then your wrist, two, three, four, five, and your other wrist, two, three, Four, five, and now your hands are nice and clean. Do that frequently throughout the day. All right, now that we have done our hand washing, we've done our pledges, we've done our moment of silence, it's time to be, show respect for those that have birthdays. I'm going to do today's birthdays as well as everyone over fall break birthdays. Today, October 1st birthdays. Happy birthday, Chase Carey, who's nine, Callie Garner, who's nine, Riley Sullivan's eight, Landon Tanner, six, Valencia Ortiz is six, Miss Wade. On October 2nd, Kylie Armstrong will be 10. Porter Rockwell will be 9, Gracie Montgomery will be 9, and Mr. Anglin. On October 3rd, Bryson Johnson, Juan Bernal Juarez. On October 4th, Maximilian Patrick will be 9, Violet Nasir will be 5, Alyssa Chaw will be 5, Abigail Beaver will be 8. On October 5th, Ellie Velasquez will be 7, Carson Wellborn will be 9, Tavarius Sowell will be 6, Camden Hadley will be 9. On October 6th, Adolfo Martinez will be 10. Zoe Camacho Villalobos will be 6. On October 7th, Charlie Anna Williams will be 7. Sanaya Crumsey will be 8. Vivian Massis will be 10. Aiden Willard will be 6. And Miss Rocky has a birthday. On October 8th, Jacob McBride will be 11. Addison Sullivan will be 8. Ozeo Cuyar will be 10. Lance Whitmire will be 7. Liliana Smith will be 7. Jasmine Melton will be 11. Jennifer Madrano Sosa will be 9, and Kate Menefee will be 11, and Kate Eldridge will be 5. Happy birthday. We'll make sure you get your birthday ribbons. 
All right, another responsibility that we have is to make our lunch choice. Lunch choice for today is uh, stuffed crust pizza, fresh baby carrots, cheesy broccoli, and ZZ's applesauce. If you don't want stuffed crust pizza, you can always get PB&J or yogurt. And time for dad joke number two. What did the pig say when he was laying on the beach? I'm bacon. <laughs> Everyone knows one of our goals is to work on our vocabulary. That's why we read so much, and that's also why we do our picture of the week. Here's our picture for this week. And yesterday we were talking about adjectives and adverbs. Adjectives describe nouns. Adverbs describe verbs and adjectives. Uh, they tell us which one, what kind, how many, where, all those kind of things. So they give those more. De they give us more details about our pictures or our text. Uh, Mr. McCoy had the advert safely and closely and happily. They said that they were watching the kids closely and the police are safely training the kids. Miss Ballard had the adjective blue, blackish, small, and tiny, and the adverbs happily, slowly, safely, and nervously. They had the sentence Little Max, Kimmy, and Big Max, the dad. Um, Big Max, the dad, nervously walked towards the Japanese restaurant before taking their first subway train ride. The police safely walked them to the train. They slowly walked on the train and drove away. And then Miss Ham had, when Bobby and Bree arrived at the noisy trampoline park, they discovered more missing springs. They seriously checked the trampoline for big fingerprints. One clear fingerprint stands out. The sneaky spring stealer is surprisingly LeBron James. And there you go. Good job. All right, so today we're looking for prepositions and prepositional phrases. Remember, prepositions are words that give a relationship between two nouns. So like the boy is sitting next to the table, the relationship between the boy and the table. It's always in a phrase, like next to the table. Or the, the man is standing on the ground on the ground. So look for those prepositional phrases. Dad joke number three. You're only going to get this if you're a good speller. Where do ants go for vacation? France. Spell it. It's funny. Alright, today's message is on honesty, respect, bragging, and integrity. Do you know the story of the traveling man who liked to brag? One day he came back from a trip and started bragging about, how, about being in a jumping contest. He bragged about how far he could jump. He bragged about how high he could jump. He bragged about how wonderful he was at jumping. But the truth was, he couldn't jump at all. Everyone soon got tired of listening to him and they said, instead of telling us about your jumping, why don't you show us? The traveling man knew he was not telling the truth about his jumping skills, so he just sat down embarrassed. So remember this, you don't need to brag to others for them to like you. When you like yourself, others will like you too, even if you can't jump at all. Something to think about on Mr. Butcher makes today your masterpiece or not, remember the choice of yours. That's true. Tell the truth all the time. Be honest. This makes life a whole lot easier. I may have already told this one already, but dad joke number four, where does sheep go on vacation? The Bahamas. <laughs> All right, still under our temporary mask mandate. That means we need to make sure we have our masks on the right way. So make sure you're putting them on over your nose, keeping them over your mouth. Make sure that they're tight around your ears. You guys have a great day. I love you very much. That is all we have for announcements. So please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you, you are boldly committed to student, student success. I love you very much. Have a great Estamos. Uh, espero que hayan uh, disfrutado de nuestra celebración de mes de la herencia hispana esta semana. Este es el libro, el último libro uh, de esta semana, antes de fin de semana y 
las vacaciones de otoño. Este libro no tiene uh, la traducción completa en inglés o uh, en español, pero uh, es una mezcla de los dos. Disfrútelo. I hope uh, you all have enjoyed our Hispanic Heritage Month celebration uh, this past week. Uh, this is the last book uh, for this week and before our weekend and our fall break. Now, this book doesn't have a uh, translation in both English and Spanish, like the previous books that we've had, but it's a good mixture of the two. So it shows um, kind of Hispanic heritage in a family where uh, the children and grandchildren are speaking in English, and they are relating to their grandparents or their parents who speak mainly in Spanish. So it's a good mixture. I thought it was a good way to end the week uh, with a good mixture. So I hope you enjoy it. Esto es, yo quiero los uh, sábados y domingos. Escritor de Alma Flor Ala. I love Saturdays y domingos by Alma Flor Ada. Okay. Here we go. Saturdays and Sundays are my special days. I call Sundays Domingos, and you'll soon see why. On Saturdays, I go visit Grandpa and Grandma. Grandpa and Grandma are my father's parents. They are always happy to see me. I say, hi, Grandpa, hi, Grandma, as I walk in. And they say, hello, sweetheart, how are you? Hello, darling. I spend los domingos with Abuelito y Abuelita. Abuelito y Abuelita are my mother's parents. They are always happy to see me. I say, hola, abuelito. Hola, abuelita, as I get out of the car. And they say, hola, hijita. Como estas? Hola, mi corazón. On Saturdays, Grandma serves me breakfast, milk, scrambled eggs, and pancakes. The pancakes are spongy. I like to put a lot of honey on my pancakes. Grandma asks me, do you like them, sweetheart? And I answer, oh, yes, Grandma. I love them. Los domingos, Abuelita serves me a large glass of papaya juice and a plate of eggs called huevos rancheros. The huevos rancheros are wonderful. No one makes them better than Abuelita. Abuelita asks me if I like them. ¿Te gusta, hijita? First, I need to swallow, and then I answer, sí, Abuelita. Me encantan. Grandma has a tabby cat. Her name is Taffy. I roll on the carpet and call, come Taffy, let's play. Abuelita has a dog. His name is Canelo. When I go out to the garden, Canelo follows me. I call out to him, ven Canelo, vamos a jugar. Grandma collects owls. Every time that she and Grandpa go on a trip, a she bird. brings back an, an owl for her collection. Each one is different. I count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. To see how her collection is growing. Abuelita loves animals. When she was little, she lived on a farm. She is glad that now they have a large backyard so she can keep chickens. One of her hens has been sitting on her eggs for many days. Now the chicks have hatched. I count them. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce. One Saturday, Grandpa and Grandma play a movie about the circus for me on their VCR. Kind of shows you how old this book is. I like the circus, especially the lions and tigers, said Grandpa, and the giraffes, said Grandma. When Grandma and Grandpa ask me what part I like best, I answer, I like the mother elephant and her little elephant best. Un domingo, abuelito y abuelita take me to a real circus. Me encanta el circo, abuelito, I say. Mira los leones y los tigres, says abuelita. Y las jirafas, abuelito adds. When, I, when they ask me what I like best, I say, la mamá elefanta y su elefantito. Grandpa has a beautiful aquarium. He keeps it very clean. Look at that big fish, Grandpa says, and points to a big yellow fish. I like the little ones, I answer. It's fun to watch the big and little fish. I watch my nose pressed against the glass for a long time. 
Abuelito takes me to the seashore. He loves to walk by the ocean. We sit on the pier and look down at the water. Mira el pez grande, Abuelito says. He points to a big fish. Me gustan los chiquitos, I answer, and show him some little silver fish that are nibbling by a rock. We stay at the pier un buen rato for a long time. Grandpa knows I love surprises. One Saturday when I arrive, he has blown up a bunch of balloons for me. The balloons look like a big bouquet of flowers, yellow, red, orange, blue, and green. What fun, Grandpa, I say, and run with my balloons up and down the yard. Un domingo, Abuelito also has a special surprise for me. He has made me a kite. The kite is made of colored paper and looks like a giant butterfly. Amarillo, rojo, anaranjado, azul y verde. Que divertido, abuelito, I say, and I hold on to the string of my kite as it soars high into the air. Grandpa likes to tell stories. He tells me about how his mother, his father, and his older brother came to America in a big ship from Europe. He also tells me about growing up in New York City. When he was a young boy, he delivered papers early in the morning before school to help his family. Abuelito likes to tell stories, too. He tells me about the times when he was growing up on a, ranchero in, on a rancho in Mexico. He worked the fields when he was very young. He also tells me how his father went to Te Texas, Tejas, looking for work, and Abuelito was left in charge of his family. He was only 12. Grandma loves to tell me about her grandmother whose parents came to California in a covered wagon. It was a long and difficult trip. Grandma's grandmother was born on the trail. Later, she became a teacher. Grandma is very proud of her grandmother. I feel proud, too. Abuelita loves to tell me about her abuelita and her mama. Her abuelita's family are Native Americans. Abuelita is very proud of her Indian blood because the Indians really know how to love the land. Abuelita feels orgullo, and I feel orgullo, too. It's my birthday. This time, Grandpa and Grandma come over to our house. They have brought me a new doll. Grandma has made her a dress in my favorite color. What a beautiful doll, Grandpa, I tell him, and I give him a big kiss. What a pretty blue dress. Thank you, Grandma. I love you very much, I say. Abuelito y Abuelita also come. Abuelito has made me a dollhouse. Abuelita has made me a dress for my birthday party. The dress is exactly like my doll's dress. Abuelita and Grandma must have planned this surprise together. Que linda casa de muñecas, Abuelito. Gracias, I say, and give Abuelito a big hug. Y que bonito vestido azul, Abuelita. El azul es mi color favorito, I tell her. Gracias, Abuelita. Te quiero mucho. All my cousins and friends came to the party. We gather together to break the piñata that my mom is filled with candy and gifts. Abuelito is holding the rope to make the piñata go up and down. We all line up. The younger kids are in front. Abuelita covers our eyes with a folded scarf so that we can't see the piñata. Finally, I blow out the candles and cut the cake. Everyone sings happy birthday. Then they sing las mañanitas. It goes like this. Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el rey David. Hoy por ser tu cumpleaños, te las cantamos a ti. Despierta, mi amor, despierta. Mira que yo amaneció. Y los pajaritos cantan, la luna ya se metió. Some say happy birthday and some say feliz cumpleaños. For me, it's a wonderful day. Un día maravilloso. Las Mañanitas is a traditional Mexican song. It's sung at birthdays. In some areas of Mexico, mariachis can be hired to serenade the person who is celebrating his or her birthday. The song says, This is the beautiful morning song which King David used to sing. Today, because it is your birthday, we shall sing it for you. Wake up, my loved one, wake up. The sun has just come out. The little birds are singing. And the moon has gone to sleep. The end. Tenemos un buen fin de semana y vacaciones de otoño. Adiós. Te amo.